We're going mountaineering. Never really done this before. Apparently it's rad mountains. I've winter camped, but never went, like winter camped. Spring has officially arrived. We're gonna go get one last hoorah in the snow. Two brothers, two continents, 15,000 miles. That'd be gnarly. In a quest to ride mountains at the top and bottom of the Americas. They're heading southbound on the longest navigable road in the world. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> they won't stop until the road does. This is Brothers on the Run. I've barely been able to ride yet, so I was really anxious and like, man, we gotta find some more winter. This idea came up like, well, why don't we just go camp? If we can go out on the glacier and do some mountaineering, we might be able to find something. And you know, if we don't, we're still in the mountains. We're experiencing Alaska. The Alaska Range is a super, super big, really intimidating, and really when it comes down to a very deadly uh, mountain range. Look at some lines and look at some mountains and you realize pretty quick that uh, it's, it's, it's a lot bigger than you think. As soon as I got out of the plane and, and got on the glacier, I felt the snow and I knew right then, I was like, we're gonna get some, some board, man. Pat was just game and he was, you know, ready to do anything. Been doing Alaskan City. This, this is what I've been waiting for, coming out to the backcountry. I think he was just super excited to be up here. And whatever was thrown his way, he was gonna have a good time and that's just his style. And just kind of sessed out our options on to what we could do and and um, just kind of getting everybody familiar with the gear and, and the ropes. Got my emergency whistle. I'm like, all right, this is something totally different that I'm not used to. That's why, you know, people like Jeremy Jones is out there pushing it so hard and, and he has that um, respect because he's doing things that nobody else is really doing. And it was cool to get out there and get a little taste of that. Man, I've really been wanting to learn how to climb more mountains. Other guys, yeah, they're way over yonder. Should be fun. See, I could act like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. First time using crampons. First time hiking something like this, being roped up. First time using a pickaxe. We got the man, Zach, here, who's uh, showing me the ropes, literally.
First AK line. First AK line, Tim! <laughs> In the ground! brother. I didn't even care about catching that. That was for the part in the heart. <laughs> so then we go into this glacier zone. Saw this other little jacker. Was like, oh man, this looks fun. We gotta hit this. He's, there's like a big hole here and a big hole here. Talked with Clark about it for a while. He agreed to rope me in, and I was nervous walking across that for sure. Walked across fine, and then once it's done, once it's a party. Jib mountaineering, more or less. We're coming up with new techniques, how to get the, the jib guys into the big mountains. I don't know, for me personally, I just need to go up there and really show these guys, like, I got it. It's not about the gnarliest stuff, it's just being out there having fun. Wake up in the morning and it's totally snowing, socked in. Um, here, you know, our flight's supposed to pick us up today. We only have a certain amount of food. You know, we're only planning four days out here. And typically, the weather in Alaska can go bad quick. And when it goes bad, it stays bad for a while. None of us were expecting any weather or snow for that matter. What time is it? Yeah, I'm not going to get up. <laughs> we're, we would like to get out of here, but, you know, that's for sure. Oh, we lost signal. Signal's lost. So the last day we woke up, Ejack gets up at like 4.30 to go piss, sees that it's clear, sets his alarm. We get up early, you know, him and I wanted to hit this jump. I just like, I don't know, I just kind of had a feeling that it was going to be good weather and, and it was just totally clear and I just kind of let out a little, it's, it's jump session, it's going on boys. <laughs> it had just snowed and there was a light dusting all over everything and uh, so we just kind of rallied and got on the jump and just started sending it. <laughs> All right, five seconds! Drop it! Truth be told, I don't think she knows, I don't think she knows what she had. each other's energy, just stomping tricks. Riding with my little brother is so much fun. I used to ride with him in the standard films days, and that, that's my man. Double party. Got a little bit of everything on this trip. We wrote some lines, we hit some natty features, and we hit an all-time jump. And um, you know, as soon as the session ended, the planes came in, picked us up, and that was uh, pretty much the winter. <laughs> Kick off the boots and trade it in for the board shorts. <laughs> Good, I'm pumped. We're getting out of the states and into our first country. Those claws could do some damage. <laughs> We're back at Bald Face Lodge. Go chill with Craig up on the hill. Met up with Jay Jones. We're gonna climb that peak over there. 